This is a short tutorial on the properties of exponents uh, that we're going to deal with. To, the first one is what we're going to refer to as the product of powers property, and it deals with a situation where you have the same base, for instance in this example 2, and then you want to know what to do with the exponents. First, maybe you'd think, well, it's multiplication, so let's multiply the exponents. That's not correct. Then maybe you think, well, I multiply the twos and I multiply the exponents. Also not correct. You're never going to multiply those twos together first. Okay, you're always going to deal with the exponents. Let's explore and see what maybe our answer is going to be. Because we can write this out by hand. We know that 2 to the 3rd is 2 times 2 times 2. And we know 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So if we write those all out and remove the parentheses by the associative property multiplication, we ended up with 7 twos listed. Well, that means that 2 times 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 2 is equal to 2 to the 7th. So 2 to the 3rd times 2 to the 4th equals 2 to the 7th. We just showed that that's actually the case. Well, maybe you'll be able to recognize that the 7 can be found by adding the 3 and the 4. And that actually is the property. Whenever you have the same base, you're going to actually add the exponents together to get 2 to the 7th. So we can write this property out. Uh, again, we call it the product of powers property. And what we're going to be dealing with is um, multiplying things together with the same base and that have exponents. So the product of powers property states that to multiply powers of the same base you're going to add the exponents. So there's two things to, to pay attention. When you're multiplying things and they have the same base, then the key is adding exponents. So what you're looking for is only if they have the same base. It's not true if you like if you did 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 4th. You can't do anything there. There is no shortcut. And maybe that's a good way to think about this. Rather than being a property, you could almost call it a shortcut. Because you could always write it out. You could always do what I did above, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Times two. But the key, fit, key is you've got to have the same base. So we can also write this out mathematically using variables. So we say a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. So the same base is a, the exponents are m plus n, m and n, so we're just going to add those together. The second one we're going to look at is when we're actually taking the power of a power. All right, we got uh, a problem such as the one I'm going to list. And so 2 to the 4th, but that's actually going to be raised to the 3rd power. So this is different. Okay, this is not the same as, as multiplying things together. This isn't 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 3rd. It's 2 to the 4th raised to the 3rd power. Well, you can rewrite this out as 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th. That's what it means to be to the 3rd power. 2 to the 4th is being multiplied together by itself 3 times. Well, in this case, then, you can write it out as 2 to the 4th. You can take away the parentheses and realize, well, we know how to deal with this. We just learned how to add, uh, multiply common bases. We add the exponents. So 2 to the 4th times 2 to the 4th is, well, 4 plus 4 is 8, so 2 to the 8th. Then we got 2 to the 8th times 2 to the 4th, which is 8 plus 4 is 12. So 2 to the 4th to the 3rd equals 12. And you might notice that 4 times 3 equals 12. So when we have the power of a power, that's when we multiply exponents. So when you multiply two things with exponents, you add them. When you take the power of something with an exponent, you then multiply. So you've got to get those straight in your head. So our powers of a product, which is what we're calling this property, um, well, it should be written as powers of a power property. Um, the way we're going to say it is to find the pa a power of a product, or of a power, my bad. To find the power of a power, you must multiply the exponents. So again, in this case, there is usually something inside parentheses and then an exponent outside parentheses, and you're always going to go through and just multiply the exponents. So 2 to the 4th to the 3rd is 2 to the 12th. And that always works. It does, you, we don't have to worry about any common base. Now we write this as a to the m, something in parentheses, raised to the n power. Well, that's just going to be a to the m times n. 
That's how you'd multiply that out. And then the last one we're going to look at The last one we're going to look at is a problem that um, has a product raised to a power. All right, you've got, we've got 2 times 3 in there, and we're raising it to a power. Now, some of you might say, oh, I'll just, I'm just going to multiply 2 times 3 and get 6 to the third. Well, yeah, that's the case, but it gets more complicated, so we want to learn a general shortcut. So what we can do is we can write 2 times 3 out 6 times, or 3 times. 2 times 3 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. We can remove the parentheses using the associative property. We can then rearrange everything using the commutative property. And so we end up with 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, which equals 2 to the third, because we got three twos, and then 3 to the third, because we got three threes. And if you notice, so what happened was, if we have 2 times 3 to the third, then it's actually just like saying 2 to the third times 3 to the third. You just take each one of those uh, everything inside the product to the to that power. So here we're looking at the power of a product, which is what we described last time, but we or what we wrote down last time. So we're looking for the power of a product. So this one to find the power of a product, which is what we're going to be looking to do. You take the power of each factor in the product. So the way we've written it down is to find the power of a product. Find the power of each product, each factor in the product. So like I said, it was 2 to the third times 3 to the third. In our example up there, you'd want to keep simplifying. You'd want to go... Um, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, and you multiply 8 times 27. Um, and like it said, it says on here, then you're going to multiply those together. To write it out like we have been, you're going to do um, A times B, and we're raising that to some power M. Well, that's the same as A to the M times B to the M.